Hey, I have a scripture for you this morning. It's Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You know, it's up to us to get any wickedness on the, that's on the inside of us, repent. And, and God will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then we pray. It's important for us right now to ask the Lord to deliver us from the state that we're in, in our, in our land. And you know what? He's a healing God. He wants to heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our hearts. And, and, you know, I just want you to know that, that God is on the move. The more we pray, the more we believe that he's going to do something. The more we speak the word of God, more faith rises up on the inside of us. So be in your Bibles, read the word of God, pray, worship God, turn on some praise music or worship music and begin to just worship God. There's some good things that you can stream on TV, good worship services, join in and worship God with them. However, tomorrow morning at 8.30, we'll be streaming from the church at, at 8.30 on Facebook. So I, I really encourage everybody to tune in and worship with us tomorrow morning. And you know what? I really believe that if our hearts are right and we know that we're together in one spirit, one heart, one spirit, I believe all things are possible. And this thing that we're going through right now is short-lived. Amen. Again, hey, man, I miss you so much. Uh, Rhonda and I were talking last night. Uh, she watched the first video, and she got a, quite a kick out of it. But it is what it is. I look like I look. So, But you know what? I miss you. I love you. And tomorrow morning, be sure that you tune in on Facebook at 830, or you can watch during the day. You can tune in through our, our website, too. I love you guys. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you that you continue to bless all of us. I thank you that we have peace, the peace of God that passes understanding that keeps our mind and our heart in Christ Jesus. Father, I just thank you that you comfort the weak and you heal the sick. Father, I thank you that, that we have favor wherever we go. The favor of God both goes before us. Even when we go to the grocery store, if we go to Sam's, wherever we go to get gas, Father, I just thank you that you continue to bless us in all that we do. Whatever we put these hands to shall prosper. And Father, I give you praise for this. In Jesus' name, amen.